Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today, what I'm gonna do here is do a video for Robert Lowry. He is the one that, uh, we, we had a little conversation the other day and he wanted me to do this video for him. And so I said yes. And what we're gonna do is show you why we need to subtract that one third of your cyanuric acid from your alkalinity. Now what he did is he came up with all the figures, came up with everything that I'm gonna do right now, and this is gonna prove why we need to subtract that one third. Now what I'm gonna do is start off with some distilled water. Distilled water has a pH of 7.0 or a little bit below, and it has supposed to have a zero alkalinity or just a tiny little bit above. So that's what we're gonna do. We started out, I got two gallons of distilled water in the bucket. Then what I did is I ground down a bunch of, uh, this is 15 grams of cyanuric acid. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in the bucket. Now cyanuric acid has a pH of 4.5. So, in this 15 grams, I already did this last night, and uh, I've got the bucket over there, which I'm gonna exchange out, but, um, cause it, so it takes too long for it to go into the bag. But anyways, um, so what I'm gonna do is put this 15 grams in the bucket in two gallons, and it's gonna give me 1,000 ppm of cyanuric acid. And, uh, and that's what we're gonna shoot for. That 1,000 uh, ppm of cyanuric acid is gonna drop the pH in the bucket down to a 4.5. That's the pH of cyanuric acid, is 4.5. And, um, and so that's what we're gonna do right now, and we're gonna get that going. Now, the thing is, we're gonna drop it down to 4.5, and then we're gonna use sodium hydroxide, which will raise pH only, not alkalinity. So then we're gonna bring that pH back up to about um, 7.0 or a little bit above, and then we're gonna test the alkalinity in the bucket. So stay tuned to that, and let's get to adding the cyanuric acid. I ground this down really, really fine, so it'll uh, dissolve pretty fast. All right, so now, Let's go ahead and add the cyanuric acid. And let's stir it in here pretty good. Now this took a while. This took a while to mix in. So this is why I did this last night. I did a dry run last night. Um, and I'm gonna switch to that bucket in a minute here. I already raised it with the uh, sodium hydroxide. Um, all I had was a 500 mil bottle and it used the entire 500 mil bottle to raise that up. So I'm not gonna be able to do it here. Plus it just takes too long anyways. All right, 4.51, 4.52, that's 4.5 right there. Okay, that's the uh, pH of cyanuric acid, 4.5. So now we should have now we should have a zero alkalinity, okay? So let's get some water here. Now I use, I use the Taylor plunger. It gives me exactly 25 mils. You drop it in there, flatten it out and bring it back up. You got exactly 25 mils in there. And then what I do is, uh, as you can see, there's a 25 mil marker right there. And we've got exactly 25 mils. And then I use the Speedster by Taylor to do my mixing, okay? So let's do our two drops straight up and down. Not like this. These give you wrong drops. I've seen people do them like this before. They give you wrong drops that way. It's inaccurate readings. Now this is not gonna turn green if it is a zero alkalinity. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And there is our zero alkalinity, okay? So right there, we got a 4.5 on the pH. We got a 4.5 on the pH. And we have our zero alkalinity. The only alkalinity that is gonna be in this bucket now is gonna be from 
the conditioner, okay? There is no carbonate alkalinity in here and there is no bicarbonate alkalinity. There is only cyanurate alkalinity in this bucket, okay? Because from the distilled water. So let me go grab the other bucket and get that set up and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, here's the bucket that I did last night. This has got 1,000 ppm of cyanuric acid in it. And what I did was a nine to one ratio. One from the bucket, nine from distilled water, and I got 100 ppm of cyanuric acid. So raised it back up last night with the sodium hydroxide. That raised pH only, not the alkalinity. So we got a 7.2. And uh, now let's find out what our alkalinity is. All right, now let's see what we got. Three hundred and ten is three hundred and twenty. Three hundred and twenty. Looks like three hundred and twenty. Okay, there it is, three hundred and twenty on the alkalinity, and we know there is no bicarbonate alkalinity in here or carbonate alkalinity in the bucket. Um, this is straight cyanurate alkalinity. And there's our three hundred and twenty, and that's our um, thirty-two percent. So that is why we subtract CYA from our alkalinity because 1,000, 320 divided by 1,000 is 32%, 0.32, okay? And that is our third. And that is why we subtract a third of the cyanuric acid from the alkalinity. Okay, guys? See you later.